Good morning, dear students of class 8. Welcome to the English online learning class. Today we are going to take up chapter 5, part 5 of the lesson, The Summit Within. Now this lesson is by Major HPS Aluwalu and who was the member of the first successful Indian expedition to Mount Everest in 19. 65. In this lesson, he is telling the readers about the experience of climbing the highest peak of the world, that is Mount Everest. And he also says that there is another difficult task, and that is climbing the summit of our mind, which is within. Now, let us quickly recap the previous four parts which we have done of this lesson. So, while standing on the highest peak of the world, the Mount Everest, there were many emotions, feelings that were coming, that were rising, surging in the writer, Major H.P.S. Aluwalia. One of the strongest emotions, the most dominant emotion was humility. He was, he felt very humble. The physical in him said that fine, today it is over. Thank God it is over. Because it requires a lot of physical strength to climb the mountain peak. He was happy, but then there was a trace of sadness also. And this was because he had already climbed the highest. He had reached the ultimate, the best, the last, the final. And now there was no other peak to climb. Now he was filled with a sense of joy, thankfulness to God and to all those who supported him. And this is a kind of joy which remains with you throughout your life. The writer says that he had climbed the highest peak, but then there is one other peak, and that is the summit of the mind, which is also very difficult. And it is not easy to climb just like Mount now, after many days of his climb, he felt that now the physical exhaustion, the fatigue of climbing the mountain had left him. And then he asked himself a question. Why had he climbed Mount Everest? Now, he got different answers. And one simple answer was, which others also said, because it is there and it is meant to be climbed. It poses a lot of challenges. Then the writer says that there is a personal reason. I have always been attracted to mountains and I feel mountains are a means of communion with God. It establishes a kind of strong bond relationship with God. And it is also the highest, the mightiest, and it gives a lot of challenge. And that is why I chose to climb Mount Everest instead of any other mountain. And it takes the last ounce of a person's energy. At the same time, he says that once you decide to climb and you are on the way, to the climb, you cannot give up. You cannot decide to return back. He also says that when the summit is climbed, there is exhilaration, there is excitement that you have done something. There is a feeling of victory and once you look at the peak from a distance, you are transported to another world which is spiritual, the aloofness, the strength, the ruggedness, 
the challenges. All this invite you to climb ever. Now, the writer says, still, I'm not able to get a final answer. Like, there are many questions for which there is no final answer. For example, why you grieve? Why you do good act? Why you help a neighbor? The writer wants to say that climbing Mount Everest, this is not just a physical climb. When you reach there on the top, you realize you are very small in comparison to the large human. So, the physical conquest of a mountain is just a part of your achievement. There is more than physical. It is emotional. It is spiritual. You feel as if you are one with God. You feel you are a small part, just a small part in the universe. And that is why you feel very humble, very small. Now, when you are climbing, you are sharing a rope with another climber. It is not your only effort. You are working in a team. And the other climbers also who have climbed previously, they have left record of the help given by so you are not climbing a Mount Everest alone. You are climbing with a team, with the support of others. And while climbing, you have difficulty in breathing. And suddenly you feel, why did you choose to climb? But then going back is also not possible because you are sharing a rope with the other client. So, you see your companion climbing on the top. Who is at a distance? And you can only see him. So, you draw inspiration from each. Now, when you reach the top, you are a part of the you see, the other peaks surrounding, they look like jewels in the neck, around the neck of your thumb. And then suddenly, you have such a different experience. And you bow down in your, in to show your obedience. To whichever God you wish. You show your submission, your obedience to whichever God you wish. Now let us continue further. I left on Everest a picture of Guru Nanak. Ravat left a picture of Goddess Durga. Yudoji left a relic of Buddha. Edmund Hillary had buried a cross under a cairn, a heap of rocks and stones in the sea. These are not symbols of conquest, but of respect to our gods. Like I left a picture of Guru Nanak, HPS Aluwalia, uh, and Ravat, he left a goddess Durga's picture, and Yudhurji, he left a relic of Buddha, and Edmund Hillary buried a to show their respect to God. The experience of having climbed to the summit changes you completely. You become a different person. And this has been said earlier also. But then there is another summit. And this summit is within yourself. Is inside you. And this summit is your own mind. Each man carries himself his own mountain. So all men are carrying their mountain peak, which is their mind. He must climb it to reach to a fuller knowledge of himself. So as I climb Mount Everest, there is a message to the reader, readers that they should climb 
the summit of their mind to attain fuller knowledge of themselves. It is fearful and unscalable. Climbing the summit of mind is also fearful and it is difficult to climb it. It cannot be climbed by anyone else. No other person can climb it. You have to climb it yourself. You yourself have to do it. The physical act of climbing to the summit of a mountain outside is akin to act of climbing the mountain within. So he's comparing the climbing of the mountain outside to the climbing of the summit of the mind inside. The effects of both the climbs are there. He's comparing the two. Whether the mountains you climb is physical or emotional or spiritual, the climb will certainly change. It teaches you much about the world and about your life. So, he says, whether it is climbing the mountain, Mount Everest requires physical, emotional and spiritual. Similarly, to climb the summit of your mind, it requires your physical, emotional and spiritual strength. And finally, if you are able to achieve it, it teaches you about the world and about Gives you complete knowledge about the world and about yourself. I venture to think that my experience as an Everester has provided me with the inspiration to face life or the situation. The writer says that because I was able to climb Mount Everest and I had this experience of climbing Mount Everest, I have learned a great lesson. I am now more prepared to face the life's ordeal, the life's painful experiences. Climbing the mountain was worthwhile experience. He says it was a learning experience for me. The conquest of the internal summit is equally worthwhile. Similarly, if you are able to conquer, the, re, reach the highest point, of your mind, if you are able to conquer the summit of your mind, it is even equally worthwhile. It is like climbing Mount Everest. The internal summits are perhaps higher than Everest. Now he says that reaching the summit of mind is even higher than climbing Mount Everest. So the lesson there ends with a strong message. Students, to reach the highest point of your mind, you need a lot of dedication. And if you are able to achieve that, if you are able to make it work, then you will attain full knowledge, knowledge of the world, as well as knowledge about. So, all the best and may you all be able to successfully climb the summit of your mind. Thank you. Take care. Have a nice day. And please read the lesson and come up with your, uh, your understanding of the lesson. Uh, and wherever you have problems, you can write them in your uh, WhatsApp group. Thank you.